Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And welcome back to another color class. And today's class is all about springs. springs. <sighs> so appropriate because the flowers are just beginning to bloom here in Virginia and uh, spring is about to spring. So spring is perfectly appropriate. <laughs> spring is sprunging. Uh, Not yet. Spring is almost sprung. <laughs> All right. So now that we've talked about the weather spring, let's dive into the seasonal color analysis spring. Absolutely. So springs. <sighs> what, what kind of people do you see as springs? Well, first of all, I'll give a characteristic. Springs are light in tone, light hair, uh, medium to light hair, and they're... Um, always a little warm so they have warm highlights either red or gold highlights in their hair and I, by highlights i mean their hair could be strawberry blonde or their hair could be honey blonde mm -hmm. but um as long as their hair in total comes across as medium to light and warm red or gold you are likely a spring and by that, I mean, you probably, if that's your natural color, you probably have a warmer skin tone. You probably tan rather than burn. You probably have um, eyes that are on the warm side, either amber, uh, blue toward the green side, pure, kind of a pure blue, not a cold blue. Teal. Teal. Mm -hmm. So bottom line, you're warm and you're light. So those are your two, what we call dominant characteristics. And another uh, indicator of spring is that you are bright. And your palette, that means that you are uplifted and your colors are, are bright. And I like to describe it as, uh, think of this, the, the flowers that you see in spring. You know, think of the colors that you see in spring. Even think of the color of new leaves coming out on the trees in spring. That's your palette. So let's look at a couple celebrities we have here. Who are springs? And it, it, let me just say right up front, I'm going a little bit off topic, but it, celebrities and blonde hair drives me up the wall. Because inevitably, if you're looking at a celebrity and you're going to do a color analysis on them, it, take a look when you see them in different different situations, whether it's an award show or you know whether they've gotten a candid walking down the street. But depending on how they color their hair, they may leave a salon and have no red or gold highlights in their blonde hair. It might be ash blonde or it might be golden blonde. And there are certain celebrities that flip flop constantly back and forth all the time yeah. so it's almost impossible to put them in a season can you think of one reese witherspoon thank she you flips back and forth she all the time from ash blonde to golden blonde constantly so does kate hudson mm -hmm. um so and and please put in the comments down below celebrities that you know flip-flop from warm hair to cool hair. Um, Charlize Theron does it. Oh, yeah. Um, Margot Robbie you see sometimes with a cool versus a warm yes. gold. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean? It means that when their red or gold highlights go away, they're probably a summer. Mm -hmm. And that they need to uh, tone down their wardrobe to a summer wardrobe. Now, why is that? Here's why. Because if you have the red or gold in your hair, you can pull off more vibrant hues. As that, as that pigment goes away, you have to eliminate some pigment from your wardrobe, for lack of a better term, some <laughs> color from your wardrobe in order to stay harmonious. That was a side note, and I just mention it because um, Sarah selected some celebrities who pretty much always stay mm -hmm. spring. Right, I tried to find a few. Nicole Kidman, uh, with her strawberry blonde hair, she she's a spring. She she stays a spring. She really doesn't flip flop into um, the cooler season ever. Uh, if you've seen her, please put it in the comments below. Amy Adams, mm -hmm. same deal. Um, 
you see her, she's either blonde or red, but she's almost always warm. Right. And I can't remember a time when she wasn't. Mm -hmm. Ice Spice with her classic right. hair, golden. What, what would you call that color? Like a I honey? Strawberry or? blonde, I think. It's okay. still strawberry blonde. Mm -hmm. And then Blake Lively, she usually always is dyeing her hair a golden blonde color. And I see, I picked this photo because, do you see the roots? Oh, I know exactly why. Mm -hmm. um, if she let her hair grow out to its natural color, mm -hmm. what would she be, class? She would be cool, light and cool, meaning she would be a summer. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who say your skin, you know, your skin is what dictates your season. Imagine Blake Lively with her hair completely in in, in its natural color, mm -hmm. a, a summer color. And then think of her in terms of the wardrobe that she usually wears. Mm -hmm. Not so great. Yeah, uh, that's exactly why I picked this photo because I wanted to see. And her eyes, zooming in up close on this, they look pretty cool. But I it, can't it, tell. It, it, this in might have photos, to be a Google. It's, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to tell. Mm -hmm. But her hair clearly is a summer tone hair. Yes, and look at her brows. Again, there's no red or gold going on. But her skin tone is shifting. And she's very, like, warm. Her skin mm -hmm. tone is very warm in this photo. You definitely can see a lot of bronzer. And here's something that color analysts won't tell you. But this is absolutely true. The majority of skin tones, when you're when you can't decide what it is, unless it's obviously warm or obviously cool, it's probably neutral, mm -hmm. and you hear, hear virtually nothing about. Well, I have a neutral skin tone. Do you ever hear it? Really? Yeah. When in your classes or whatever, not so much, and that is why skin tone is less of an indicator. Because if somebody has a neutral skin tone, you have to rely completely on their hair and their eyes a little bit as a tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. And we'll do color illusions videos. That's one of my favorite things to do is yes. look at people's hair color and when we shift it, what their skin tone does because it's usually shifting with them. It's really cool. So we'll do a whole yeah. video on that. Um, I was telling somebody, you know, in. in Perception, if perception is reality, then the way we perceive color is reality. But because the way we perceive color is not really the way color is, we're dealing in magic here. We are making <laughs> magic mm -hmm. when we do this right. Mm -hmm. And so join us for mm -hmm. making magic. Well, here it's we the best way to learn how to kind of shift your season. Maybe you want to wear something outside your palette. Maybe you want to dye your hair. We're really just learning those small little nuances and how to kind of shift ourselves to be something because really we don't want to stay the same hair color forever or our hair changes. It goes well, gray. Yeah. We start getting salt and pepper hair. I mean, anything can happen. And that's what we're here to learn. Is and really, get that you are the work of art. The mm -hmm. way you look, the way I see you right now, or the way you see me, or the way we see each other, that's the picture. Mm -hmm. And if you're creating harmony, and you're talking about somebody's hair color when they were a child, and you're trying to create harmony today, you either need a time machine to go back and look at them as a youth, mm -hmm. or you have to look at what's in your picture frame right now at this minute to create harmony. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you won't have harmony. Right. Right. My favorite saying is we don't like to put you into a box. We don't like to force you into a box for, you know, what color you have to dye your hair for the rest of your life. But what we want to do is figure out how to make you happy and what you want and figure out the colors that are best for you based off what hair color you want. Maybe that day or that week or if you want to do a warm, glowy skin versus you want to go natural. I mean, there's so many different things. Self-tan. Right. You decide you want to self-tan during the summer and then suddenly mm -hmm. you get this golden glow. And the bottom line is we want to create harmony as we see you in the moment, mm -hmm. in the whole picture frame, yep. the, pa the whole package. So let's do a little bit more digging into warm versus cool hair. Bringing up this image, this is a really great image to see. Warm versus cool. I mean, right on top, springs, they fall into the warm category. Mm -hmm. so and you see top. a range from gold to red. Kind of a, it, it, you get both right. when you're talking about warm. It's not just one or the other. Mm -hmm. So do you see the lack 
of red and yellow in those bottom color hair colors versus the top and that's what we talk about does your hair have red or gold highlights in it versus does it have no red or gold highlights in it warm versus cool and with cool hair you're talking about a desaturated effect i don't mm -hmm. know if any of you use uh instagram filters or have uh, oh, yeah. had the opportunity mm -hmm. on your television sets to uh, desaturate your screen. You know, maybe it, it's too bright and you wanna tone down the color just a little bit. That's what's happened with the cool palette. You have desaturated what's there and you've got less pigment mm -hmm. from a scientific standpoint, but you've got less color from a visual standpoint. Not totally black and white but a little less mm -hmm. so that you no longer are, are see the red or gold as dominant mm -hmm. so my favorite way to visualize the different seasons and to really understand is by having all four in front of you and looking at the different values of each season so here we have just same model, four different hair colors, eye colors. With the assistance of artificial intelligence. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you take a look. So we have spring, autumn, summer, winter. Our springs, like we mentioned earlier, warm and they're on the light side versus our autumn, who is warm, but on the deep side. So you see these two images on the left. They have a lot of yellow and gold in their hair. They're or red. Yes. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Red is what I meant. <laughs> yes. And so both of these are going to fall into the warm category versus our models on the right hand side. They're lacking some of that warmth, but still beautiful. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, it, our cool seasons are just as gorgeous as our warm seasons. And if we want, want to enhance all seasons, we have to employ a few little tricks, mm -hmm. which we're going to teach you. Mm -hmm. So taking what your best colors are, taking a look at what your best colors are. Here we have some favorites of us for springs, springs. because you guys just look incredible in these shades. And this like coral, this just peachy apricot corally color is my favorite. I, 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 I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. but, but they're all so beautiful. Right. And the thing is, this is not by any stretch of the imagination your whole palette. You have a whole world of colors that you can as springs wear. The only thing we have to be sure of is that the intensity or the quote unquote brightness matches your brightness. And that really is true of all four seasons. We want to make sure that the intensity with a summer, for example, is toned back mm -hmm. so that the color doesn't overwhelm the summer's kind of delicate coloring. And with the winter, there's lots of contrast. So we want to ratchet up the color and make that a little more um, primary mm -hmm. and bold and autumn. I'm, I'm switching back and forth here, but lots of warmth but a little softer in terms of uh, whether it, you take what the spring colors are and you just tone them down a little bit, add a little brown, tone them down, mm -hmm. and it's perfect for the softer autumn. So everybody can pretty much wear any color as long as it's adjusted for your own unique coloring. Sarah, why did you choose this celebrity over all the summer celebrities that are out there. Her style. She has a phenomenal style. She loves to wear colors. So why wouldn't I choose <laughs> a woman who loves color to take a look at her color analysis? Mm -hmm. And I mean, look at the, the yellow. I, I've never seen an outfit like that and it's stunning. Where can I find that in the autumn palette? Because I would love to wear that. It's just like this golden yellow it's gorgeous on her it's very rich it's it's like pure lemon only with a little bit of extra brightness to it I right think. but it, it's warm and it's perfect for the spring palette and then you have the next color i mean that it's it's, it's between the orange red in the spring palette and maybe uh reddish goldish apricotish yeah I mean, like an it's, apricot. It's not, I wouldn't call it a pure orange, mm -hmm. um, but I would definitely say she's heading toward the orange. It looks like her top might be a little bit more orange than mm -hmm. her 
blazer and her slacks. Right. Which, but look at her earrings too. So, I mean, just absolutely that? cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I noticed though, is um, typically with our springs, because you're golden, you want to lean toward gold jewelry right? Mm -hmm. Because that's all part of your harmony. Well, I noticed that on this belt, it looks to me like it might be silver. And, you know, I don't know, maybe it's gold. It could be reflecting her um, orange. Could be. Yeah. But, you know, it's not close enough to her face to really make a a huge difference. I mean, she's definitely harmonious. Although the, the color of the shirt being just off is driving me a little nuts <laughs> um but it's low enough the blazers covering i it. get it i she get still it looks amazing. but you guys see that it's slightly off or am mm-hmm. i insane no it, it is but her hair looks so good with this that blazer color it's absolutely stunning. and then i saw this dress and i was like this is really unique because it's nude it has nude pieces to it but it also has that clear pink that mm-hmm. springs can wear which is gorgeous it has the warmth let me but just i'm going to challenge you mm-hmm. with what you say about the nude it's really picking up her hair color in my as i'm seeing it yeah. it's like it it sort of combines her hair color and the blush in her cheeks mm-hmm. and makes her completely harmonious yeah her lip lip color color yes it's perfect it looks so good her hair looks good her skin tone looks great with it stunning now i tried to find something colorful that she was wearing that wasn't quite in her season and then of course i had to do black so what happens when a spring wears black (laughs) as we say all the time we'll do blake lively in black What's going to happen if you have a very rich, warm hair color? It's and the and uh, uh, the the proper skin tone, and right. it, it we are not. Oh, let me back up for a second. We're not telling you not to wear black if you're a spring. Yeah. What we are saying, what we are suggesting, is wear it away from your face. You know, if you're going to have that little black dress, make sure it's got kind of a low bodice, mm-hmm. and wear your gold jewelry so that you break up that line between the black and your hair and your face. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not. But really, some springs can look absolutely beautiful in black as long as it's a little further away from mm-hmm. the face. In this case, though, it's close enough to her face that it just sucks all the color out of right. her face. It's like she she went pale all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. You see the yellow of her hair. And um, the it, the lips, it, her lips look less healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, I see that she has on lipstick, but the lipstick isn't doing anything for her. Yeah. So, um, and look at the jawline. One of the things that I always point out to my clients and to my students is that if you look at the jawline you'll see a really beautiful jawline when someone is wearing the right colors but when they're not wearing the right colors it's pulled down toward whatever it is that it becomes the color of whatever you're wearing because light reflects up off the clothing and up onto your jawline and then if it clashes with your skin tone you have a little bit of a problem Mm -hmm. and this is a great example Sarah you chose well because you can see that at her her jawline you can also see that under her eyes because again there's some pulling down effect so where you wouldn't normally see her have um, under eye circles they have presented themselves here And um, it's all part of the effect of wearing the wrong colors and being pulled down. Mm -hmm. Even, and this this is so interesting, even the shape of her eye is, it looks like it's pulled down. Whereas if you look at her in her um, little peach colored coral outfit with details, you know, you got the lift, you got the lift that you absolutely want. Even in young people, you want a lift. You don't want it to look dragged down. And um, here, it, it's a perfect example, side by side. Mm-hmm. One's up, one's down. And then I also found her in this purple blazer, which it's a bit soft for her. I could see this on a summer perfect color. But we can do a mental exercise here if you want. You ready? Let's do it. So um, it... 
imagine her in this color. We can see that there's no color harmony here. Her lips are a little too coral. Her, her top is, a, her jacket's a little too Pepto-Bismol pink. Her hair is golden. There's lots of stuff going on. She's still gorgeous, but you're lacking the color harmony that you want to see, which really makes somebody look amazing. But let's do a little mineral exercise here and imagine that the gold tone in her hair has disappeared and it is more the color of right at her root line, her seasonal color. Mm -hmm. Now imagine that is the whole color of her hair. Right. You wouldn't have that what yellow. What do you see? Suddenly mm -hmm. you would have color harmony because right at the root line, you can see that there's kind of a, a blend from the jacket up to the root line where it's actually okay. Mm -hmm. But if you look down where the golden hair is actually on her jacket, not okay. Mm -hmm. And then of course she'd want to adjust her lip color to wear this. But And remember when you're wearing something that's in the cool side and you're warm, your skin tone is going to be pulled cool and your hair is going to be pulled cool. So that's why her hair looks a little bit yellower on these um, images of her in this like purple blazer, soft purple, and the black pulling yellow, but in these other colors that look stunning on her, it's, you know, golden blonde. It's gorgeous. One word, straw-like. And this happens to springs um, it, and autumns. And I, it's, Sarah, I'm going to tell on you. Oh, yes. When Sarah wears a color that is not in her palette, and you know, let's face it, we all do sometimes. Let's say you've got a child who's part of a team and you want to support that child and you're wearing the colors of the team or whatever. But when Sarah wears a color that's not in her season, her hair starts to look like straw. It does. And this happens to warm blondes all the time. And here's a fun exercise to try at home. If you've got a shirt that's in your season, and we gave you a pretty good idea of, you know, think fruit stripe, stripe gum, you know, <laughs> those kinds of wonderful, bright mm -hmm. colors. Put that up to your face, whether it's a t-shirt or whatever, just hold it up, you know, across your bodice. Then take something that isn't your season, you know, if your husband has a shirt that's not in your season or um, a friend or whatever, or if you have a shirt that's not in your season, hold them each against, against your chest under your chin and look at what happens to certain things. Look at what happens to your hair, straw. Look at what happens to your chin, pull down effect. Mm -hmm. Look at the under eye circles that you may or may not have. If you don't have them in the right color, you will have them in the wrong color. And even your face tends to thin out in the right color versus uh, being in the wrong color. Be because again, that wrong color is reflecting up into your face and drawing it down to itself. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, the phenomenon, we're going to do this color optical illusion show um, video very soon, and you will be blown away by just the tricks that color plays on your brain. And believe me, you'll, you'll never dress outside your season again. Mm -hmm. So we hope you've enjoyed this color class on springs. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We would love to see you like the video and subscribe. Yes. I was looking at analytics and there are 10,000 of you out there right now who are unsubscribed. So if we see you. Sarah, you know why they need to subscribe? Because well, we, we have, have a more. A <laughs> pile of really interesting shows planned material that you may not get if you've taken color analysis courses or you're certified in color analysis we're going to go over every single system i guarantee you mm -hmm. if you've taken a class in one system knowing all of the systems will give you a an eye-opening experience and make you a much better color analyst mm -hmm. or if you're doing this for fun you will become the most well-versed color lover uh, that's out there. So the only way that we can make sure we see you again and that you come back is if you get notified what the next show is. And you won't get notified unless you hit that subscribe button. And it's free. 
Absolutely. All right. So I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And this is Color Class. And we'll see you in the next video.